Hi there guys, Comrade here with iSkySoft Video Editor for Macintosh and today we're going to be looking at one of the very cool features on Video Editor and that is uh, the chroma key or green screen function. So I've already got some uh, videos imported in here. I'm just going to maximize this. Um, I did of course do that by hitting this plus sign and then selecting some videos and then just uh, clicking OK. I'll just bring one more in there just to show you guys. So what I'm going to do now is just bring down some of this video footage, uh, just this stuff here. Okay, so I've got this underwater footage here, and what I want to happen is for somebody to be talking over the top of it. Uh, I've downloaded this sample bit of stock footage here of this chap having a chat, and what I'm going to do is right or control click on that, hit add to PIP, that's our picture in picture, and do check out our other video on that if you are interested in how to, how to do that further. Okay, so I have this picture in picture video here. All I need to do is just right or control click on that and hit green screen. And that's gonna bring this up here. As you can see, there's this awesome, uh, very even chroma key background here. We can uh, change the color there clicking a point in the preview area to pick the color you want to remove uh, has automatically chosen it. And if I just turn that on, perfect. I can turn up this intensity or we'll turn it down and that's going to affect how the, the actor is displayed there. I can also add in a border if I feel like it, I'm not going to this time. And there is the option to add in a drop shadow as well. Again, not going to bother with that. Okay, there we go. And then what we can do, we can choose to mask this in a number of different ways. I'm just going to use that to tidy up the green screen there, this mask. Let's pop that open. And we can turn up that intensity until we can no longer see the background. So that's a useful way to just check that your chroma key is working. And let's remove that mask. And then up here we have this motion tab where we can uh, move something from move to the left across the screen there if we feel like it. I'll keep that in, why not? And then we just hit OK. We can then move this around the screen as we see fit. And if I hit play here, there we have a beautiful talking head over the top of our footage. So that's a brief guide on how to do some chroma keying using the iSkySoft video editor for Macintosh chroma key function. Uh, it's very impressive, um, especially considering the cost of the software. Um, so yeah, I hope that's been useful. If you do have any questions or comments, uh, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. We'll speak to you next time. Why are you